up guys, Christian here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to unlock any Samsung Galaxy phone out there. As you can see here, I have the Samsung Galaxy S8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and all the way down to the first generation Samsung Galaxy. Now I'm gonna show you how to unlock your phone. This will work for any Samsung Galaxy phone out there. Uh, there are two types of unlocks. First you have the carrier unlock, and then you have the passcode unlock. So I'm gonna show you how to do both of them. The passcode unlock is in case you forgot the security code of your phone and you're locked out. So I'm gonna show you how to bypass that screen so that you're able to access your phone again. And the network unlock is in case you wanna use your phone with a different provider. Let's say for example, you have a phone from AT&T and you wanna use it with T-Mobile. Uh, you need to unlock your phone before you can switch between carriers and use different SIM cards. So I'm gonna show you how to do both types of unlocks. For the carrier unlock, go ahead and skip to this minute on this video. So we're gonna start first with the passcode unlock. So for the passcode lock, you have good news and bad news. The good news is that you will be able to use your phone. The bad news is that all the information of this phone will be deleted unless you have a backup somewhere in your computer. So all the pictures, contacts, and everything will be gone. All right, so let's start. I'm gonna switch cameras so that you can see what I'm doing with the phone. All right, so grab your phone and you have to press and hold these three buttons at exactly the same time. So that's the volume up key, the home button, and the side button. If you don't have the side button, you can use the home key in case you have an older phone. But anyways, when you see the Samsung Galaxy logo, you're gonna let go and you're gonna see the Android logo. So that's perfectly fine. That means that you were able to access this phone system. So we're gonna navigate through this menu here, scroll down using the up volume up key and volume down key and go where it says delete data factory reset. Okay, so you click confirm with the power off key and then we're gonna click yes, perfect. Now scroll down and click where it says reboot system now. Okay, so your phone is gonna restart. It's gonna take a few seconds or a few minutes. And once your phone is on, you're gonna see the welcome screen and your phone will be fully unlocked. So as you can see here, I was able to access my phone and boom, it is now fully unlocked. And that's it. Now you should be able to use your phone without any trouble. All right, so for the carrier unlock, you only need your phone, a computer, and a SIM card. That's all you need to unlock your phone. It's gonna be very simple. Now, there are a few ways to unlock your phone, and I'm gonna try to explain them as clear as I can. Basically, there are three options. First, you can take your phone to a local repair shop, and they might unlock it for you. It will take a few days, and it should cost between 50 to 100 fifty dollars so it can be quite expensive the other option is to ask your provider to unlock it for you sometimes they will do it for free um, but it depends and some cases they give you a lot of bots like you need to own your phone for at least six months you need to be out of contract and your phone needs to be fully paid and cannot be blacklisted so i'm going to show you the simplest way to unlock your phone all you need is a computer and your phone and that's it so i'm going to show you how to do it it's very simple we're going to do it together step by step okay so i'm going to switch camera so that you can see what i'm doing here so first, go ahead and grab your phone and we're going to get the IMA number of the phone. So we're going to dial star hash zero six hash. And as you will see, the 15 digit IMA number will appear in your screen. So this is very, very important, guys. We're going to use this number to generate the unlock code to unlock this phone. OK, so keep it somewhere close. Now we're going to switch to a computer. Go to your Internet browser and then you have to go to the website unlockriver.com. In this website, we will create the unlock code to unlock this phone. So we're going to start by selecting the original carrier that your phone is currently locked to. This is the place where you bought it. So for this example, I'm going to use my carrier AT&T United States. That should be the carrier that your phone is currently locked to. All right, then scroll down and you click where it says Samsung because we're going to be unlocking a Samsung phone and then select the right model. So just for in this case, I have my Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. So I'm going to select that one. Perfect. Now the most important part. Here you have to write down the 15 digit IMA number. So make sure you write it down 100% correct. If there's a mistake here, this method will not work. So make sure you use only the first 15 digits. Beautiful. Okay, we're almost done. So the last step is to write down your personal email where you want to receive your unlock code because they will send you your unlock code to this email. Now if you scroll down, you will see the price to unlock your phone and the average delivery time to get that unlock code in your email. Anyways, we're going to click where it says unlock now. And on the following page, you will see a screen just like this. This is basically a summary of your order. Read everything here. There's some information that you need to consider before unlocking your phone, but don't worry, nothing, nothing serious, nothing really to worry about. Um, so once you have done everything, go ahead and place your order. And I'm gonna show you how the email will look like after you receive it after like one or 24 hours, or I don't know, it depends on every case. But anyways, I'm gonna show you my email. All right, so let's go to my Gmail. And as you can see here, my latest email is from Unlock River and it says Samsung Unlock Code Ready. Perfect, that's the email you wanna wait for. Anyway, so let's open the email and you will see that it says short instructions on how to enter this unlock code. Uh, it says that the code is ready, but the most important part is the actual unlock code. 
So this right here is what we're gonna use to unlock this phone. Now keep in mind that this code, this exact same code will not work for your phone because it only works for one specific phone based on your IMEI number. So anyways, I'm gonna show you how to enter this unlock code. It's super simple. So I'm gonna switch cameras back to the phone. So make sure that your phone is fully turned off and you're gonna have to insert an unsupported SIM card. My phone is from AT&T, so I'm gonna use a different provider like T-Mobile, Telus, or any other. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead, insert the SIM card in, and once your phone has detected that you have inserted a non-supported SIM card, it will require you to enter this unlock code. So I'm just gonna go ahead, insert it here, and we're gonna power on the phone. So after a few seconds, you will see the screen requesting the network unlock code. So we're gonna go ahead and insert this unlock code here, make sure it is 100% correct, and then you're gonna hit where it says unlock. Perfect, SIM network unlock successful. That means that the code was accepted and now we have a fully factory unlocked phone. Now your phone is gonna restart, it's gonna take a few seconds. So once your phone is on, you should get full signal of your new carrier. All right guys, so that's how you unlock a phone. I hope this video helped you unlock your phone. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll try to answer all of your questions. I always read your comments. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, give it a thumbs up, and thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Take care.